I really enjoy working with practices. The most rewarding experiences that I've had over the last few years are probably best characterized in two different stories. There was a practice out in Idaho where I got to visit in February of one year and later in November of that year, I got to go back and actually meet a patient. Her name was Katie, uh, who was barely walking the first time I met her. And 10 months later with Dr. Todd, I actually got to meet Katie and actually see her do a cartwheel. I now got a glimpse of what Dr. Todd got to experience on a regular basis. It helped me really kind of catch the sickness that all chiropractors are infected with, that they love their patients, they have something really special and unique, and they're looking to communicate that as quickly, as effectively, and as largely as they possibly can. It's my job to put a team together to help chiropractors do that while focusing on the rest of the stuff that, that keeps them from doing that as little as possible. So when you've got a, a practice owner, right, when they start out, they only have a few patients. When they only have a few patients, documenting is not that hard. Making sure you remember each one of them is not that hard. But as those patients start to multiply and grow, so do the problems that come along with actually trying to help those practice owners reach their goals and then do the litany of things that actually allow them to stay in business. Collect from their patients, collect from insurance companies, manage rejections when they come through. Remember that coffee cups need to be ordered, pay the rent. All of these things need to happen. How do you remember to do them? Most of the doctors I meet are superstars. They're able to juggle a lot of balls up in, in the air, but for them to be able to take a vacation or have a sick day or go be with their kids, they fail to put the systems in place that allow them to step away for a moment. I love being able to be the guy that puts a team together to support them in those efforts. So when a practice owner starts and he's only seeing a small number of patients, he's doing it on his own. But as soon as that number grows, he starts receiving less and less money from the insurance company because he's not able to manage the billing the coding, making sure that all the rejections are following up. So he needs to get a team of people to do that. Enter a billing team. But how does the billing team get the information from the doctor and then communicate back to the insurance company? And who's gonna manage them? Who's gonna make sure that their performance is good? Who's gonna make sure they're earning the money that the doctor's paying them? Because if the doctor's not getting paid, how are these guys getting paid? It gets really complicated. So what we've done here is we've put together a workflow, a system that allows doctors to do that. It starts with the practice, getting the patients and growing the patients. As they do that, they get a system in place. That system starts with technology. That technology allows them to schedule, document, and bill. It all sounds pretty simple until it's not. The idea that a practice owner actually has to figure out when staff is coming in, which hours are, are, are open, whether or not it can handle certain patients, what kind of documentation does that patient need in order to even get through the office? Do they have insurance? Are they gonna pay with cash? All of these things come at you pretty quickly when a shift starts. So what we do is we wanna automate the detection and identification of those situations that happen, which keep a practice owner otherwise engaged from actually adjusting and educating and growing the practice. So the system helps with the scheduling, the documentation, and the billing. So as a practice owner keeps adjusting, these things are gonna happen with the doctor's help and the staff's help, but it coordinates it all in a central location. There's configuration, there's fine tuning, there's patients who walk out the door. The experiences that I wanna share are those practice owners who stop using the system just as a scheduler, just as a documentation system, and just as a billing system, and actually use it to manage their practice. And what I mean by that, it's actually pretty simple. Everything that this, entire diagram shows revolves around the system. You think it would re resolve, revolve around the practice. 
but it actually doesn't. When you're trying to get paid from an insurance company, the doctor doesn't have the time to submit directly. If he does it in the system, the system automates that, and then the money comes in directly to the practice. Any claim that doesn't get paid goes back into the system and gets sent to a billing team. The billing team are experts. The practice doesn't need to manage the billing team. We actually have a practice success coach that is in charge of all of that, making sure that we understand the practice's needs, we see the performance in the system, and we communicate directly with the billing team on the practice's behalf. Then on a monthly basis, we'll actually go back to the practice owner and report what happened. If there's a problem, the practice owner can communicate back to us and then we can fix it. When there is a rejection that happens from the insurance company, the billing team will communicate directly with them. Put the information back in the system so both the coach and the practice can see it at the same time. The money only goes directly from the insurance company to the practice. We measure that because the information goes into the system. The system becomes the central hub for scheduling documentation billing as well as running the practice because that's where all the measurement of money coming in, new patients coming in, all which patients are not showing up, which patients left your office without a future appointment. If we're able to get all of that tracked and managed, the system actually becomes the, the center of your life. And because it's web-based, wherever you are, even if you are gonna step away for a moment, take a well-deserved vacation day or whether or not a, a child gets sick and they need tending to, you can allow those things to happen and step away and make sure that your practice is still standing and operating the way that you want.